हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो इफ यू आर फ्रॉम अ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डिपार्टमेंट और इफ यू आर फ्रॉम अ फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट यू ऑफन नीड टू यू नो वर्क ऑन एम्प्लॉयज अटेंडेंस और पे रोल सिस्टम एज वेल राइट एंड एंड यू नो दैट यू नो मेकिंग अटेंडेंस और पे रोल ऑन एन एक्सेल शीट इज इट सेल्फ एज काइंड ऑफ यू नो टफ टास्क इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी यू नो फॉर्मूला ड्रिवन और एन काइंड ऑफ ऑटोमेटेड एक्सेल शीट सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू I am going to take you through an automated Excel template which can help you uh, in order to make employees payroll or in order to uh, maintain their attendance system. So, friend, this is the sheet which I which I am currently using in order to you know prepare our employees' attendance data or their payroll. So, it has two sheets in it. Uh, the first sheet, which is a payroll sheet. and it has a second sheet as well which is in a calendar format where, which is uh, and this sheet is basically where we need to you know uh, map the attendance of all the employees uh, for which you know for for them uh, for which you are making the payroll so let's see how this sheet is you know is all about and how these are working so let's come to the first sheet which is payroll sheet and here you can see uh, on the at the top of the sheet you can see uh, i mean you have a two selections first selection is for the year and the second selection is for the month for which you are you know for the month you are maintaining the attendance or making the payroll so let's see uh, first of all let's select the you know current year which is 2022 and let's see we are making the attendance or payroll payroll for our employees for the month of april right now let's come at the bottom of this sheet so as you can see uh, the first column is is the employee code which is again optional thing in the next uh, next column you can see you can you know put the employee's name for them you know for which you are making the payroll or payroll for the particular month in the next column it has their, their date of joining and the next column is the department or their role which is completely optional if you want to put the their department or role that is that will be optional for example if you are having you know a list of close to 100 or um, employees here so it would be you know a wise thing to put their department in order to you know uh, segregate them Uh, by the department the next column in column f you need to put their monthly gross salary right so uh, you know always remember that uh, in this column we will mention the salary details or the gross details only in the on, only for on the monthly basis now the next column is the attendance as you can see this this is linked with the attendance sheet so you know this column which is automatically you know uh, automatically calculate or bring the actual attendance for that particular employee for this particular month and from you know how this is being given because uh, we, once we will maintain the attendance system for these respective employees on this sheet this will automatically calculate their you know actual pay days and will show here the next column is automatically calculate the you know how much uh, the payable salary based on the attendance system based on the attendance for that particular month for this particular employee and later the next two column will be on for the deduction side for example if you have you know if you have given any sort of advance uh, which you want to recover in this payroll you can mention this amount in this column and hence this would show the total deduction which going to be happen in this payroll for this particular employee and again there would be separate column for the for any additional payment if you want to you know make to that particular employee and there is another column for the performance incentive and another column for the bonus these are completely optional column and if you can you know you can just hide them if you don't need to you if you don't need to use them you can simply hide these column so this is all about the payroll simple payroll you know tracker or kind of payroll sheet now let's see what how this our attendance sheet is working so here uh, again you will uh, see these two particular thing year and the month but one th uh, particular thing is that you don't need to you know make the selection in this sheet because this is completely linked with the payroll sheet the the particular year and month which you will select from this particular sheet it will be automatically you know reflected in this sheet as well now uh, one more thing because employees name and their code this is again you know linked with the payroll sheet the whatever pay, whatever names employees names you will mention in the first sheet it will be automatically reflected here so let's to let's see so how this sheet is working so as you can see this is showing in the calendar format and the beauty of the sheet is guys the basis on the you know the basis on the uh, date or the weekday this will automatically you know um, put the color on the on the weekend's point weekend let's see here you can see you need to uh, uh, you know enter p if the employee is present for that particular day 
you can mention p by 2 if the employee is particularly you know absent or half day or, or on a half day leave or you just need to put a if that employee is on leave or is absent right so for example let's say let's make p just make some dummy entries for this particular employee and this is how you can you know maintain or put the attendance data for the respective employees and at the end of the sheet you will find as or uh, this sheet will calculate the actual you know absent or actual present date present days for this particular employee and these numbers will be automatically you know captured here in the sheet and based on the attendance numbers this will calculate the you know how much it should be the how much uh, uh, he or she should be paid based on the present days for that particular month so this is you know so this is a kind of uh, important uh, beautiful sheet you can simply use in order to uh, maintain the payroll sheet payroll data for your employees so i am putting the link will be you know given in the description uh, from where you can just download this mm -hmm.